this is the Svensholt residence and we're doing a cleanup that would include uh, some light pruning to shape things up and uh, remove um, sticky branches that are sticking out. We are doing uh, reed removal. So anything two inches and taller we're gonna remove. Anything below that we're gonna spray it with a weed killer. And then um, we're gonna do a quote for installing mulch in the front and then installing mulch in the back. And it's gonna be the um, mocha wood chips. That's the type of mulch we're doing. So this is the far side yard. Um, this is the only plant they would like for us to remove this lantana. We're gonna just pull it out and cap off the drip emitter. Um, so you could kind of see where the weeds are. Um, bigger ones we're definitely going to pull when they're kind of bunched up like this in this um, DG. You can use a string trimmer to knock it down really low. Some just some weasel through the yard right here that we need to remove. Just t touch up these uh, bushes to make them look neater. Um, these uh, um, guava trees, there's some volunteers in the bottom that we need to trim off. Um, these, these look good. We're going to leave those alone. Um, also, also in this crepe myrtle has a bunch of uh, uh, suckers growing on the bottom of it. We definitely want to address those. Same thing with this one. These all look great. Uh, we're going to mow the lawn and edge the sides. Uh, these three privets, we just need to pretty much uh, trim them to try to even them out so they look the same. Uh, some lantanas in here, these are fine. Just kind of prune them so they're not um, cascading over the lawn. Some in here as well. So this uh, lemon tree also has a lot of suckers on the bottom. We want to cut those off. Uh, uh, trim up these uh, heavily bamboos right here. Um, this hop seed bush, yeah, we just want to trim it for clearance so it's not all the way on the on the patio here. Uh, clean up the green waste debris here some branches that are so low where you're hitting it we want to remove these um, on this palo verde walking around here there's more weeds and then i'll walk to the front that's where the biggest weeds are in the front let's see so yeah shrubs like this uh, we definitely want to clean them up and make them look nicer more tidy so a ton of weeds in here that need to be removed and then um, some bushes, especially like that, that, those little bushes right there, we want to trim that. Um, these look pretty good, but there's just a little bit that needs to be, be cleaned up. And uh, we'll provide a separate line item to cap off unused emitters through the yard. So that's going to be a separate line item. Um, and also for this mulch in the front, we're going to provide a separate quote to rake out the mulch before we put the new, the new one in. Give them an option with that. With this tree you could see right here some um some volunteers that need to be or suckers that need to be removed so it looks more so the foliage is growing on top not on the bottom here this is all weeds there is a plant in there it looks like a hawthorn we're gonna uh, open that up so this area here is just a lot of weeds let me see so there's a plant in here there's a plant right there but the rest is weeds here we're gonna shape up these guys um the japanese maples it's not a great time to prune them right this time of year we don't want to stress them out so we're gonna leave the Japanese maples and I think that's it yeah it should look great that's it